Today I'm going to show you an amazing way of using conditional formatting to highlight days on a calendar based on a list of dates. Let's get into it. We have this calendar that displays the whole year on a single page that I really enjoyed using. If you want to follow along, you can download the workbook from the link in the description. And also, if you want to build such a calendar yourself, you can also find the link with the whole tutorial in the description. Here on the right, we have three columns with events that we want to highlight on the calendar. We have a column with holidays, birthdays, and another one with important events. For each type of event, we will assign a color. So for holidays, we will assign blue. So we will go to fill and fill it with blue. The birthdays with yellow and the important events with red. Then we will assign for each type of event a priority. For the important events, it will be priority one. Then for the birthdays, priority two. And three for the holidays. We need these priorities for the cases when two columns will have the same date. Whenever two dates will overlap, the conditional formatting will display the color with higher importance. Since the important events have the highest priority, if any of these dates will overlap with the dates from other columns, the color displayed will still be red. Before we start digging into the conditional formatting, let me first explain how this method will work. We will use two simple functions the match function and is number function. The match function will search whether any of the dates from our columns will match the dates from the calendar. And the is number function will convert the output of the match function into a true or false. And then we will use that true or false with the conditional formatting. Let's go down here and let's start writing match. The function will ask us for a lookup value. If we take the holidays column, the first date is 1st of January. So let's go within the calendar and select the 1st of January. If we put a comma, the next step the function will ask us is the lookup array. The lookup array is the array that we have within the column AO. So we will select everything in here and then the function will ask us for the match type. In our case, we want an exact match, so we will write in a zero and we will close the round bracket and enter. So the match function will output one because 1st of January is the first date within the range that we have inserted. But if we change the date from something else, so instead of B7, we insert C7, and enter, the match function will output an error because it didn't find an exact match. So here is why we use the isNumber function. And if we go to the function bar and we add isNumber and we put the match function into round brackets and we enter, the output is false. So it is not an exact match. If we go back to the function bar and we change the c7 to b7 which was the correct date we get a true so this is the logic that we are going to use with the conditional formatting we can copy this function and we will paste it right into the conditional formatting now select the whole range of the calendar conditional formatting new rule and use formula to determine which cells to format. We will paste the function that we have written in here and we need to make the range of the match function absolute. So we are going to insert the dollar sign right before the letters and right before the numbers. Make sure that the function looks like this and then go to format. We need to format the holidays with blue color. Okay. And again okay. So now we have formatted the holidays with blue. The next step is to display the birthdays. So we can go back to conditional formatting, manage rules and here we can click on the previous rule and duplicate. After duplicating we edit it, we change the formatting to yellow 
and then we need to change the column. We know that the column with the date of the birthdays is column AP. So what we can do is to change AO to AP and the same here. The range is not exact, so the range is bigger than the dates we have, but that's not an issue as long as the dates fit within the range. And we will click OK and again OK. So now we display the birthdays and you can see if we go back to the conditional formatting and managing the rules, since the birthdays has higher priority than the holidays, it will overlap on the blue color. But if we click on the rule with the birthdays and we click on the arrow down and then apply, then within the conditional formatting, higher priority will be the holidays. This is because in conditional formatting, priorities is from up to bottom. So at the moment, this rule has the highest priority and this one has lower priority. So we will lift it up and OK. The third thing is to add the important events. So we will go back to conditional formatting, manage rules. We will duplicate the rule. We will edit it, format with red, OK. And here we will change the name of the column from AP to AQ because this is the column containing the dates for the important events. Now we click OK and OK. We have highlighted all three columns, but we're not done yet. What we can do is to add some other conditional formatting to highlight today's date. So we need to select again the range of our calendar conditional formatting, new rule. Here we select format only cells that contain. We change the cell value to dates occurring and we select today. We will format it with color green and OK and again OK. So we see that today's date is highlighted. In my case, it's 15th of December. What else we can do is to highlight with a different color the days that are in the past. So if we go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, we can duplicate the rule with the important events and we will edit it a little bit. We will format the days that are in the past with a dark gray and the font will be white and maybe with italic. And instead of this function, we will write another one. We want to highlight the days that are less than today's date. So we will start with B7 because this is the first cell of our range less than today. Open and close round bracket. If this condition is true, we will get the highlighting. Let's try it and see what happens. So you can see that not only the days were highlighted, but also the blank spaces of the range. So in this case, we need to tweak the function a little bit. Let's go to conditional formatting, manage rules, edit rule. And beside this condition, we need to insert another condition that will not highlight the blank spaces. We need to insert the end function and we will add another argument that will say b7 which is the first cell of our range not equal we open quotes and close quotes so because we don't have anything with between the quotes excel is interpreting it as a blank as long as these conditions are satisfied we are going to format the cells. If we want, for example, to still display the holidays, birthdays and important events, you can go to conditional formatting and manage rules. And as I've mentioned before, the order of the rules are also the priorities. So we can take this rule and drag it down. And if we apply the columns with the events are overlapping over the days that were in the past. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If so, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It helps and motivates a lot. 
Also, if you enjoyed using the conditional formatting, you might also enjoy this video, so check it out. My name is Christian and see you into the next one.